In this video, I will show you exactly how to figure out one rep max without having to actually test it out and risk injury. So here is the safest way to do it. Your one rep max describes the maximum amount of weight you are able to lift for one repetition in a specific exercise. This assumes you are properly warmed up, rested and haven't done any exercises before. Also keep in mind that this value requires full range of motion and proper technique. So no cheating. Before I show you how to get this value, why do you even need to know your one rep max? Your one rep max is important because many triggering programs ask you to use a certain percentage, for example, 75% of your one rep max on a lift. Obviously, when you have no idea what your it is, you won't be able to follow the program. Regularly checking your maximum lifts also helps track progress, which you obviously want to go up over time. So how do you best measure your one rep max? In theory, the best way of knowing how much weight you can lift is to actually test it out. But this isn't recommended for beginners because of a number of reasons. First of all, it can be quite dangerous to go to absolute muscle failure. This is the point where technique usually fails and you have the greatest risk injuring yourself. You also want to make sure to be at your freshest when you try it. This means you want to train with lighter weights for a few days leading up to one rep workout and make sure you are rested. And lastly, a serious one rep max day is going to leave you pretty tired and a lot more stressed than normal workouts. That's why a true one rep test can mess up your normal workout schedule for a few days to even an entire week. So what we will do instead is estimate your max value using certain formulas. That way you don't risk injury yourself, but can still know how much you could theoretically lift. The easiest way to go about this is by testing how much weight you can lift for a given number of reps. For example, if you can deadlift 300 pounds for six reps, that's your six rep max. One way to find this number is to look at your training notes from the past few weeks and to find the most weight you have lifted for an exercise and the number of reps you did. Of course, this value will not be 100% accurate because not only are you never 100% rested, but you also do several exercises in a row in a normal workout. So your last lifts will always be a lot weaker than normal. That's why if you want a more accurate value, you need to dedicate an entire day to each of the most important lifts, like the deadlifts, bench press, squat, and the overhead press. For that day, you do a normal warm-up and then wait at least three to five minutes before you go at it. You then want to choose a weight that you can normally lift three to six reps and do as many reps as you can until you reach muscle failure or technique begins to suffer. Afterwards, write down your value and the number of reps. You will need both for the calculation later. Of course, always do this with the spotter. Rep max tests, even if they aren't for each, one rep max are always more dangerous than normal workouts. So make sure you have someone to get the weight off of you in case something happens. Once you have the number for all your important lifts, you want to use certain formulas to calculate your one rep max. The three most famous formulas are from Brzezicki, Beckel and Dos Remedios. I will link a super easy calculator that does all the calculations for you and all you need to do is enter your values. One last thing I should mention is that you don't have to test this more than every four to six months, especially if you decide to dedicate entire days to your test. That's often enough to show progress, but not often enough to get in the way of normal workout routine. And that's pretty much. Like I said before, for optimal results, make sure to get some rest before your big day. And also eat a proper pre-workout meal with a good amount of protein and a good amount of carbs. Some caffeine or a good pre-workout supplement will also help. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, 
Instagram and Facebook to your success, your health and wealth mentor.